We're at Costco finding some of the best new keto finds. All positive stuff. Let's go in there and let's find some new stuff that's either labeled as keto or not labeled as keto. I'm gonna show you what to find right here, right now, as we roll into Costco. Oh, of course. Just the, the water? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're finding that Costco has more and more things that are labeled keto, but there's always gonna be those things that aren't set out to be keto items that are perfectly good on keto, if not even tremendous on keto. So we'll try to find those, because those are what I call the hidden gems, the ones that you would never expect to be keto, and even the manufacturers wouldn't expect to be keto, but they are. So let's see if we can find some of those, and then there's, of course, the blatantly obvious ones. Protein powders, I'll touch on these really quick. If you're gonna go for a whey protein powder, this is going to be the best one, this whey protein isolate, simply because it's whey protein isolate, not concentrate. That means that you do not have the other milk solids in it. Compare that to the gold standard whey, it's actually cheaper, not necessarily per serving, but actually is. Price per ounce, 56 cents per ounce versus 57 cents per ounce. And this is better because this doesn't have any other fillers in it. Uh, as far as the protein goes. So that is keto friendly. That is good to go if you are consuming whey. Uh, this is an interesting one too. Organic PB Fit. There's a couple grams of sugar in it. Okay, organic peanut flour, organic coconut palm sugar, which is a bummer, but this is keto friendly if you're trying to keep the calories a little bit lower. You still want peanut butter? Mix a little bit of this with almond butter. Don't get thrown off by the fact that there's a couple grams of sugar. Look, at the good news is at least it's coconut sugar. Is that keto? No. But if you're going with just a normal serving, you've got three grams of fiber, five grams total carbs, three grams of fiber, and three grams of sugar. So you're really only a couple net carbs anyway. So you're okay with this. So I actually recommend doing this instead of always having full fat peanut butter or full fat almond butter, because we don't always need the fats. Plus it's the fats that are in the peanuts that are the unhealthy fats. We have the high omega-6 fats. So that's totally a keto product. Okay, here's one that's labeled keto. Uh, collagen peptides, coconut medium chain triglycerides, organic alkalized cocoa, acacia. So this is a good clean product. They add some fiber in there, that acacia, that just makes you feel a little bit more full, but also just adds more volume. Uh, so this is a cool keto find. I think that you could, actually, that's a really good price. Uh, that's a really good price. I don't need any collagen, but that's a very, very good price and a great keto find. All right, let's rock and roll. So we're just gonna weave up and down the aisles. I usually know what to look for. I usually know when things are popping out that are gonna be keto or not. So we'll go down the aisles, we'll find them. We'll try to keep this abbreviated so that you can get in and out of this video quickly, but also know what's going to work and know the why. So you're not just taking my word for it. Oh, I do wanna make sure that after you watch this video, you check out Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based uh, grocery store. Really, they deliver right to your doorstep. So all the keto things I talk about, stuff like that, you can get through Thrive Market. You can sort by category. So you can sort keto, paleo, whatever, you name it. And you can sort foods to get delivered directly to your doorstep that ultimately end up cheaper than the grocery store many times. And you can even use a price comparison where you actually scan the barcode to see if it's cheaper at Thrive. So highly recommend you check them out. There's a special access link down below. This is a great find. Now I get excited about pork rinds a lot but I don't always get excited about the ingredients when they have things in them like MSG and stuff like that. I've been a fan of 4505 as long as I can remember, before they were ever big, before you could only find them in specialty stores. Okay, this is a really cool thing. Now, this one is a little bit different because they have a couple added things in it because this is this jalapeno cheddar flavor. Uh, fried pork skin, cheddar cheese powder, which isn't the cleanest, but at least is a clean one uh, compared to others. Milk, salt, cultures, and enzymes. Salt, jalapeno powder, they put some sugar in it. A little bit annoying, but then they fry it in rendered pork fat. Instead of just frying it in itself, they actually fry it in lard, which means you're getting additional fatty acid profiles you wouldn't get otherwise. So yes, there's a tiny bit of sugar, but not so much that it doesn't even register on the carbohydrates, doesn't even register on the label. So this is totally good to go. This is a tremendous keto find because this price for seven ounces it may seem like it's a lot because if you go and you get like Mac brand from Walmart, you're gonna pay like a dollar or two dollars, but you're usually getting an ounce. So this is actually a better deal. And trust me, they taste like you're, it, I can't even describe it. It's like a cloud, it's so soft. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not highlighting every single keto item. So if I walk by something that you think is keto, 
it doesn't mean that it's not good. I'm just trying to highlight ones that pop out a little bit more. Uh, let me take a quick look at some of these jerkies. This one caught my eye because zero sugar. Let's see. Beef and pork, cultured celery powder, sea salt. It does have some flavorings. Caraway seed, granulated. These are pretty clean. I mean, okay, I will say casing colored with uh, caramel and carmine. The caramel coloring has shown to be pretty unhealthy. We don't like caramel coloring a whole lot, but I would still say this is okay. I wouldn't even consider this dirty keto. I'd still consider this like a neutral keto. Maybe not super clean Mediterranean, but here's the thing. That's not a tremendous, tremendous price because it's kind of deceiving. Each little bag is thin. So I'm not gonna get it, but it is a newer product that they have and there's no sugar in it. Because normally, yeah, check that out. Eight grams of sugar compared to, whoa, what's that? Zero carbs. So that's pretty awesome. So that definitely gets the stamp of approval. I just don't need it. All right, moon cheese versus Parmesan wisps. I covered this in a recent video where I went over deceptive keto items. Uh, both are tremendous, okay? Both are great. I absolutely feel like uh, you could get either one. I will tell you though, just as a matter of nerdy scientific fact, Parmesan is a cleaner cheese to go with because it's aged, which means it's more biologically active. So this is a very clean product. Skim milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, that's it. So if you're going to go for a keto cheese snack, go for the wisps. I love moon cheese. My son loves moon cheese. I'm just saying as far as clean keto finds, this one's going to be the cleanest. <laughs> I promised JR, my videographer, that I wasn't going to do like the pessimistic thing that I normally do, but I want to point something out. I like this company. I'm from the town of Sonoma originally. I dig it. I want to support them. I just feel like there's something that catches you here. There's seven grams of carbs in these pepper jack crisps. And it's because they have, they add that brown rice in there. Not only are they adding a carb, they're adding a grain, which is like the quintessential, like just do not have on keto. So a little unfortunate, but I get why they did it. You know, people aren't always doing keto. They just want like a charcuterie kind of board and they want to put that on it. I get it. The wisps are your way to go though. If you need a plant-based, yeah. Whoa, this is cool. If you, this, I've never seen these here before. If you need a plant-based little protein pack, these are pretty awesome. They're called lupini beads, okay, or brammy snacks. Uh, look at the carb content here. There's nothing added to them. The carb content, three grams of carbs, three of which are fiber, zero net carbs. Yes, four grams of plant protein, 35 calories, zero grams net carbs. These are a really cool product. I remember when I first saw them at Cost Plus, they were at World Market, which is where you see a lot of products that just can't get into other stores. So I remember, and at the time, uh, well, she still works for me, but, uh, Jess, who's just an awesome editor of mine. I remember I found these and she's vegan and I gave her some of these and she was like, oh my gosh, she discovered the coolest thing. And that was back when they were not popular at all. And now here they are in Costco. Stoked to see this. Plus I have that Mediterranean cookbook that is releasing. So Mediterranean all the way. That is an awesome, that might just be the keto find of the day uh, if you're not carnivore. Check this out. This made the cut in another video of mine. 15, oh man, so last week when I bought it, they were 22 bucks, not even kidding. I said, when I bought it for another grocery haul, <laughs> it's 22 bucks, now it's 16. That is an epic price, 79 cents per ounce. That's not bad for macadamia nuts, but here's why these things make the cut and why they are just literally probably the best nut I've found. Okay, so Royal Hawaiian came out with these. Macadamia nuts are already the lowest omega-6 nut that you can find, which means they are by far the best nut you can have on keto to not trigger inflammation. But look what they're mixed with. Dry roasted mac nuts with garlic, herb, and olive oil seasoning, sea salt, organic garlic powder, organic spices, organic olive oil, and then avocado oil. They mix olive oil and avocado oil, the two most powerful Mediterranean fats that have the most potent, rich antioxidant profile. Hydroxytyrosol, which is the main antioxidant that you're gonna find in olive oil, just helps neutralize so many of the free radicals that you could end up having in your body as a result of eating the fats on keto. So the nutrient profile in this is phenomenal. I don't think they knew what they were doing. I think they just wanted to make it clean, but they, in an effort to do that, made a tremendous, tremendous keto nut product. These ones are a good second, but they're more money and they don't have the other, uh, other oils with them. So this is something different. <laughs> That's funny.
Uh, this would be cool on dirty keto because it's got like all the peanuts and the cashews and stuff like that. And I do love tapatio. That's, that's awesome. You can't see me smiling right now because my um, thing is on my face. But there's a lot of garbage in that, unfortunately. But I just love tapatio. Um, okay. So again, sparing you the time on the nuts. We don't need to go into a lot of detail there. Uh, the mixed nuts, these are pretty good. They're pretty solid. I think I saw some other stuff. We're going to go flip around and see if there's anything here. You may have seen this in my deceptive keto snacks video. Just going to touch on it real quick. If you haven't watched the deceptive keto items video, you get a kick out of it. Um, I'll link it down below or you can just Google it. But this is not keto. Cane sugar uh, in a high amount. Six grams of carbs, four grams of added sugars. That's not keto. So it just shows you, you just have to be careful. Just because it says keto doesn't mean that it is perfectly keto. People like to game the system. People like to make money, okay? People like to do whatever they can to get people to buy something based on an impulse. You have to do your own due diligence. Fun fact, this company is just a really good company, okay? Not keto, not in the slightest, but if you ever get a chance to Google something, Google the story of how Kind Bar was started. Just the guy was just a cool guy that had a really good message. All right, coconut keto clusters. Okay, we run into the same issue. A bunch of cane sugar that's added to it. So carbohydrates, eight. Total added sugars, four. 16 servings. So 16 servings in this. You know how much that would be? That'd be like that. And you've, boom, gotten eight grams of carbs. So try not to be negative. JR is probably shaking his head being, come on, man, you were going to make this video easy on me. And here you are going negative on this stuff. But I just want to point it out. Just because it says keto doesn't mean it's good to go. These paleo bars throw people off. Uh, I will say a tremendous find if you're doing paleo, really good product, just not keto. Okay. Just because paleo does not mean keto. A lot of people get that confused there. Let's see what's down here. Someone in the last video, ah, yes. They said, why didn't you touch on the keto granola? Well, because I didn't know it was there. So I came back with my wife and my kid uh, to another Costco up in Northern California and I saw it. So this is keto granola, which there's a lot of these on the market. Three grams of net carbs. Let's see what's in it. Sliced almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut chips, pecans, erythritol, monk fruit extract, butter, freeze dried blueberries. This is a really good product. I kind of wish they used maybe like some macadamia nuts in there. Um, but you know what's cool is they didn't add other weird fats to it. They didn't add canola oil. They didn't add sunflower oil. So this company seems to know what they're doing. I actually commend them for that because it's not easy and it's not expensive or it's expensive to make a good keto product. And they did it. And we have it at 12.79. And you get a third of a cup, 18 servings. So if you had just a serving of this every other day as sort of a keto treat, it would last you over a month. That is a really good, good little mix. And I love that they have the blueberries in there because on keto, blueberries are super high in what is called astaxanthin. Okay, astaxanthin is, uh, and also anthocyanins, but basically what those are, antioxidants that are very powerful for the brain. Okay, and they've been demonstrated to help brain function in lots of different ways. So keto is good for the brain already. Combine it with some of those blueberries that you guess can have in small amounts because it's just low amounts of fructose. You've got a nice little you know win there. All right, what else we got? Oh, here's some of these. Okay. Are these keto friendly? These Costco protein bars. I talk about them all the time. I'm gonna make this quick. Look at. There's a lot of carbs in them. We got 22 grams of carbs, but 15 grams fiber one gram of sugar, four grams of erythritol. So to someone that is doing dirty keto, this would be okay. If you're doing clean keto, it would not be okay. They don't advertise themselves as keto friendly. So I would never give them a deceptive tag because they're not trying to push that. The only reason that someone would get mad is if they were looking at it, expecting it to be keto, and then it wasn't. So does it work from time to time? Yeah, you could have it, but I will tell you from my own experience, it raises my blood sugar about 25 points, which is enough to really knock me out of ketosis. So maybe a half a bar every now and then, but in the grand scheme of things, keeping things lighthearted and positive in a time when everyone is negative and kind of going nutso, they have a decent selection of protein bars, but this one is the best one. If you are just shopping for a protein bar and you're not worried about keeping it super ridiculously Tom Stilauer clean keto, okay? 
let's see what else we got. Uh, clean keto find that is not necessarily worth getting because it's not the best price. Ten dollars for this. I recently did a dollar store or a dollar tree keto haul and found that I could get one of these for a dollar. So why would I pay ten dollars at Costco for six packs when I can go to the dollar store and get one for a dollar? Another terrific keto find, which I don't need more of, so I'm not going to waste money just because I can in this store because I'm doing a video. Um, this is a very good fat, very good for keto because it's based with avocado oil, which is, again, what we want. Now, okay, I got to say, this is a good find. <laughs> this is a good find, and this is a killer price. And this is wholeheartedly an honest Thomas DeLauro reaction because I didn't, this is, must be brand new because Primal Kitchen is a tremendous product. Okay, Mark Sisson is a tremendous guy, the guy that started this, uh, that guy right there. He's a good friend of mine, so this is really awesome. I highly, highly recommend this if you like to taste the ketchup when you're on keto. Okay, two grams of carbohydrates. They don't add sugar. So you got tomato concentrate, balsamic vinegar, which gives it a taste without having the sugar. And that's really it, then some spices. This is something, believe it or not, I know I mentioned Thrive Market earlier. You can get this for a really good price at Thrive. So if you're doing online you know, grocery shopping, stuff like that, uh, or you're using that link, you can get this. But I'm gonna get this because I know at Target, I think I mentioned it in a Target haul, it's like $3.99 for one. So this is a seriously good deal. Seriously, might even be the best value that I find today. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but they must have just landed a contract with Costco because here's a primal barbecue sauce. Yeah, seven grams of carbs, five. Paleo, cool, keto wouldn't work. Oh, okay, man. I bore people to death when I start talking about all this stuff. Let me just make it really easy on you. Albacore, avoid. Albacore, avoid. Chicken in the sea, uh, moderation. Wild Alaskan pink salmon, good to go. Gel fight fish, up to you. Uh, those sardines, not as good. Wild Pacific, uh, wild planet sardines, good to go. All right, here's something I saw. Um, my buddy Bobby uh, over uh, Channel Flave City, which a lot of you probably know. I saw him talk about these, I think at another store. Here we are, so what's in it? We got chicken bone broth, chicory root, salt, natural flavors. Okay, so this is, I get it. It's a bone broth packet. Um, that's a good price for, how many packets are there? 15 on the go snack, on, on the go broth sticks. So if you're like fasting and you needed to break your fast with something, could be really good. It's a little disconcerting that they have this stuff in it. Chicory root, they're using that as a thickener. That's gonna give you kind of a, um, a bloated feeling if you were to break a fast with it. Yeast extract is basically MSG. So is this keto? It is, absolutely. Should you just get a different liquid bone broth? Probably, or make your own. But I understand the ease and the convenience of this. So it does get the stamp of a cool keto find, but it could use a little bit of improvement in terms of what it has as far as ingredients. So super, super, super clean keto, don't get it. Keto just to survive and just feeling good, you're good to go. Okay, just found something new, new find. This is what we call a Thomas DeLauro reveal because I've never seen what's in this. Uh, Keto-friendly burger buns, already a little turned off. Okay, wheat gluten, yeah, not gonna fly. Wheat protein isolate, soy oil, not, not even gonna go further. Guys, something you need to know about doing keto. You have a wide variety of fats that you can choose from, a wide variety of fats. Soy and grapeseed are two fats that you should just avoid. Soy especially because it is so adulterated and it is not going to do you good. Don't need to go further than that. Let's not waste our time. Let's see what else we get. Okay, this is like, this is from the same brand, so 20 bucks says it's gonna have the same stuff. Bread base, yep, wheat gluten, inulin, wheat protein isolate, soy oil, yep. There are much better options, much, much better options for keto breads. Look online, or uh, there's cool recipes for just making a, like a flax bread, where you just use basically flax and you can make your own bread. It's that easy. If you're an olive lover, you know that that's a good price for these, okay? Organic Kalamata olives. I like Kalamata olives because they are one of the richest sources of vitamin D that you can get in a plant form. Okay, so if you're not eating a bunch of sardines, if you're not taking your vitamin D supplements, um, this is a great way to go. I have a small thing of them. If I had known that this was here, I would have gotten this because I just bought a smaller one for I think $5.49 at another store. So anyway, that's just a tremendous, tremendous keto find. People forget, olives are keto. Enjoy them, eat them like you would a normal treat. Yes, I found this one. 
Look at that, that's a really good price. So instant savings, uh, $3.20 off. So $8.79 for two of these. Uh, this is a cool product. Organic vegetable stock, vegetable broth concentrate, celery, organic onion, sea salt, cream, cultured buttermilk, uh, sunflower oil, which is a little bit of a bummer, but not terrible. Anyway, long story short, four grams of carbs, three grams, uh, yeah, four grams total carbs in a quarter cup serving. It's a white cheddar pasta sauce. So it's like an Alfredo with just a little bit more flavor to it. Uh, I found this a few trips ago and bought a bunch of it. It is really good stuff. So if you wanna make like some uh, different kind of noodles that are gonna be keto, uh, keto friendly, or if you want to make some kind of bolognese and like make a um, ground beef or ground chicken, that stuff works out great. Coconut oil, we don't need to talk about. That's always been here. But look, at they've got, Okay, that's a little pricey. Organic, you know what, I'm gonna be honest. This is a great product. It's just organic butter. It's organic ghee, which believe it or not, is actually harder to find than you think. But that's expensive. Um, and I do think that you can arguably find that cheaper at other places. So tremendous keto find. If you wanna do your one-stop shopping here at Costco, then that's great. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. I definitely think that you could do better on price. Okay, because that's 75 cents an ounce. You know, you're probably going to be putting um, uh, I don't know. I'd probably say quarter to a half an ounce every time you cook. So basically think 35 cents every time you cook that adds up. Costco should really pay us because people like are watching me talk about these things and then going behind me and grabbing them. I'm going to have a trail of people getting a free shopping education. Uh, clean product. Yeah. So 10 grams of carbs, five grams of fiber. So you're looking at probably, you know, five ish net carbs uh cool keto find and it's just it's really clean you just don't want to overdo it so that is uh two four inch pancakes so this makes the cut did it just get some dust on me no, I think it, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get those so we're talking a little over a buck a pop i know at smart and final these are like 249 so it's a really good really good bargain and this is the unsweetened organic coconut milk. And you might think that it's coconut milk, when am I ever gonna drink it? But when it's in the can like this, this is the really thick stuff. See, 12 grams of fat in a third cup. This is what you wanna use if you're making curry or if you're making something where you wanna get the good medium chain triglycerides, you wanna get the good lauric acid, the good fats in. I'm stocked up on this stuff. I never let myself run out, but this definitely is a nice little hidden gem that's now at Costco that wasn't here a couple months ago. Uh, the layered superfood creamer, a really cool product. Uh, that is not their keto one though. So just so you know, so if you're gonna get the layered one, uh, you gotta get it online or you have to get it at the specialty store. The one that's at Costco has coconut sugar in it. Clean product, great product, uh, but not keto. Man, I'm just all over the place. Okay, here we go. We got monk fruit or we've got stevia. Let me tell you something, either way, with both of these products, you have uh, erythritol, okay? So you have either monk fruit and erythritol or stevia and erythritol. Then it just comes down to preference and to price, okay? Price per ounce, 30 cents. Price per ounce, 45 cents, because that's in a packet and you're paying for that. So if I had to choose, I'd go with the Lakanto route. Again, I think you could find that even a better price on Thrive if you wanted to look. Um, Splenda, just disregard that. So anyway, that's a cool keto find. They've had it for a little over a year now. Resisting the urge to point out things that are not keto friendly, resisting the urge. So you gotta save that for another video. This is. Good find, it's supposed to be hot finds, not Thomas get mad at products. Last time people made fun of me because I, I did a video saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at the keto ice cream bars. And then I completely just forgot about them. Like I just continued on with the video, talked about something else, got distracted. I've been hanging around my toddler too much. Um, so where they go? Maybe this is what happened last time. I'm looking for the, the, these keto ice cream bars. Maybe they're on the other side, you know. I'll keep looking, frozen section, see if there's anything good. Uh, Kerry Gold Butter, always a good find. Salted and unsalted. I'll say this. this uh, spinach egg white frittatas. Okay. This, this looks promising. I saw it, but I didn't, haven't looked at the label yet. So this is another Thomas DeLauer unveiling. Let's see the reaction here. Oh, we might make it. Vegetable blend. Egg whites, mozzarella, uh, canola oil, buckwheat. I get why they did it as a binder. Um, ooh, they've got Gruyere cheese in there, which is a high altitude cheese, 
which means that it's going to have a lower uh, casein and a higher CLA profile. Um, some garbage in there. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Non dairy, non dairy natural gray cheese flavor. Not the same as high altitude beautiful cows in Switzerland. <laughs> Definitely not the same. More like low altitude upset workers probably not happy to make this. Um, big difference. So point is, is this a keto product? Absolutely. Is it clean keto? Marginally. I would consider it just a basic keto product. Something that I might uh, make for like a random treat when I'm on the go. That is cool though, because it's pretty low calorie. One frittata is only 70 calories. That's a pretty quick light treat. So this is definitely a cool keto find, especially when you look at that price there. 10 bucks for 20 of these, 50 cents a pop. I mean, so for breakfast, you could have one or two of those and have breakfast for 50 cents to a dollar. Come on, tell me that's not a good find. That cauliflower crust there is a lie because it has rice in it. Man, I'm really excited about some of these finds today. Like, if you look at the cart right now, this isn't even, every, this isn't even everything that I talked about, but finding some really cool stuff. Do you ever just look at something and just say like, I wanna give up and throw in the towel and just, eat that. Well, this is where I would have expected, yep. So, I will tell you because I've gotten them before. They are a cool keto find. They are high in erythritol, a little bit of some bloating issue that came along with them. Uh, but they're a tremendous little treat. The hard part about them, to be completely honest, is there's 12 of them in there, which is a good bargain but they take up a lot of freezer space and it ends up being something where they're just not good to have on hand. I like having those kinds of bars in like a one-off or two-off situation, not 12 friendly ones hanging around barking at me, making me feel like I'm tempted all the time. That's a good price for 14 ounces of Chilean sea bass. One of the best fats that you can get from Chilean sea bass, by the way. Um, I just, I'm gonna guess that this is with a miso glaze. It probably has some stuff I don't want in it like miso, soybean oil, or soybean, rice, sea salt, starter culture, sugar. Yeah, it's got all kinds of garbage in it, unfortunately. 25 grams of carbs. Yeah, looks like I gotta take a picture of that one. Cheat meal alert, by the way. Macarons are gluten-free. They're made out of almond. So, totally not keto. Okay, not keto in the slightest, but let's take a break for a second. Let's live real life. Sugar, powdered almond, it's a cheat meal, okay? It's gonna be sugar. The first ingredient is sugar. <laughs> but anyway, point is, they're gluten-free, and this is a nice little cheat meal if you wanna have like a little bit of keto ice cream along with that. Because there's no gluten in it, you don't end up with that just like gut ache that you get sometimes when you're on keto and then you have a cheat meal with carbs. So just a fun little find. Um, and those are not the cleanest, but cheat meals aren't supposed to be the cleanest, so don't judge me. I wanna point something out here. Since I found these frittatas, if I compare that to this over here, 9.89 for this many, and we have, this is cleaner, okay? So it makes the cleaner cut, but price-wise, these frittatas were a much better bargain. Granted, they're frozen and not refrigerated. Like these, you could just warm up and you're done. So tremendous product that has been on my channel many times, but since I already have those frittatas, why would I get those too? I would say bang for the buck, frittatas, if you're trying to spend a little bit more and eat clean, go for these. Buffalo mozzarella, higher standards with buffalo even in the States. And this one is imported directly from Italy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Italian, I like this stuff. This is really good quality. Buffalo mozzarella is such a good keto find, such a delicious treat, so calorically dense, so easy to overeat on this. You know, you've got a quarter of a piece, okay, is gonna be 80 calories. You eat, it's so easy to just, it melts in your mouth. So tremendous keto find. Uh, roasted, oh man, they have the cranberries in it. I'm talking to the camera at the same time I'm talking to JR, my videographer, because he and I have the same affinity for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> this looks delicious, but yeah, 12 grams of carbs, but five of which is fiber, three grams of sugar, because they certainly add sugar. Brussels sprouts, uncured pork belly pieces, no nitrates or nit nitrites or nitrates added, except for those naturally occurring. Organic cranberries, which are the sweetened cranberries with sugar. 
organic sunflower oil. Okay, if they had a flip-flopped the olive oil and the sunflower oil, it would be perfect. There's cranberries in it. That is what's giving it the sweetness. There isn't sugar added to it to caramelize them or anything like that. I am going to get this because, wow, that's expensive though. That is expensive. I don't think I'm going to get that, but this is take, that's a cool keto find. If you just eat around the cranberries, that's just expensive. When I could go to Trader Joe's and get like a pound of Brussels sprouts in a microwave dish for $2.99 uh, and then just throw a little bit of stevia in them. It's almost better just to make a recipe with that and do a separate video. So if you want them, not a bad product. That's just, that is expensive. It's funny. They have an Orgain kids one. The kids one is full of a bunch of garbage. My son just likes, we give him like a quarter of one of these. It's not keto. My son's not keto, but it's pretty low carb. Filtered water, pea protein, alkalized cocoa, uh, natural flavors, but I did contact them and I know what the natural flavors are. Uh, high oleic sunflower oil. At least it's sunflower oil that has the oleic acid extracted. Uh, pretty darn clean and monk fruit, sweetened with monk fruit. So if you're looking for just like a, a kid shake, my son likes to sip, rather than making him Nesquik, I take that and I mix it with a little bit of coconut milk or a little bit of almond milk take a quarter of one of those containers, mix it with a little bit of almond milk and you're good to go. And you get your kid a nice little treat where it feels like they're having Nesquik without a bunch of sugar. And it feels like he's, he just gets something that's at least a little bit more nutritious. You could probably pick it apart if you wanted to, but it's a little bit now and then. Anyhow, we didn't buy everything, but I don't know, interesting keto finds, especially this granola, I'm excited to try that. I just don't wanna overdo it. Um, this is a pretty, pretty cool find, to be honest. There's all, a lot of fun stuff in here. I'm excited to dive in and hopefully not go overboard, but also share it with some of my staff that's keto friendly. And well, all my staff is keto friendly because if they weren't keto friendly, they, <laughs> they wouldn't be a friendly environment to be around. But my staff that is eating keto will enjoy some of these treats because I don't dare bring all this stuff home. So I hope that you've enjoyed some of these keto finds. Now, if you have different ideas for grocery style videos, let me know in the comment section below. We'll check them out. We'll see if they can be done because sometimes it's hard to do them depending on what area of the store it's in. It's very hard to do uh, like the meat section, for instance, because people are always coming and going and the butcher's always breathing down your neck. So anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.